Hello everyone and welcome to the introduction to one of the new features. It's coming in 2.0. This first introduction is on the sawmill or sawmills. We'll be adding two of them to the map. And while we're doing this one, I wanted to show you a couple of new trees we're going to give a try out. If they work here and work in multiplayer, we will be adding some of these white birch trees to the map. They come in four sizes, 10, 20, 30 and 40 meters I believe they are and they'll add a little bit of different look to the map in some areas let's cut one of these down I'm gonna make this easy and what I mean by easy is I put those trees to test ones right near the new sawmill and I'm gonna fill the sawmill now you could use a regular wood carrying trailer but I am going to cut my uh, lengths in 4 meters sounds good. You could bring in whatever length size you want. And if you put them into the yellow boxes, any logs, they end up going into the sawmill. And they go in as a quantity of logs. So we have 20,477 in logs. And it looks like we're, our boards are full currently. And I'll show you that and we'll get this plant going. Basically what we're doing is we're making pallets of boards. This is another mod by Marhu that is fantastic. But we did some editing for the PV map. And basically just to fit the whole gameplay a little bit better. Each pallet of boards is 10,000 boards. Now that that is off of there, let's jump over to the coal truck. We changed it so whoop, so that uh, the plant takes coal rather than the original way he had it powered with wheat or wood chips. But seeing as coal has been our power source in the map, we switched it over to coal. We dumped the coal right in there, so the, so the sawmill has a power source. Once you have coal and logs, the sawmill is functioning. Now I'm going to just fast forward a little bit because it didn't recognize that I took the pallet off until the next tick. There we go. Now it's functioning again. You can see the boards going in. The logs that we jump. It's just an animation and the smoke's coming out of the chimney. Let you know the factory's running. It creates some excess wood chips which are dumped there which can also be used to be brought to the wood chip the other factory which we will be keeping it that will make boards as well that are not on pallets like it currently does but this gives you an opportunity to make them straight from logs and you're going to need several places to make boards just because there's going to be many more buildable items on the map so you can see the boards are coming through the sawmill going on to and starting a pallet and you just let that run until the pallet's full it'll tell you over here at the blackboard you have 83 boards and it'll fill up till there's 10,000 does a little bit every minute it takes a little while and also your wood chips will be scooped out with a bucket loader and you can load them onto a truck you just have to go in to where the wood chips are being dumped and sc scoop them out just like that see we have wood chips and you'd load them into a truck all right once you have the boards on the pallets, all the factories and all the building objects that take boards will now take them from either the box truck or they take the pallets directly. And I could load these onto a trailer, 
but for this demonstration we're just going to drive over to the brewery because that's the one I have set up. Here is the other sawmill. So there are two on the map real, quite close together and they're in between the shell plant and the place where you sell the wood down by that little log lake down there or whatever you want to call it, the lumber yard area. And we're going to drive this pallet over to the brewery and we're going to drop it in. Now you could, like I said, you could load these onto a truck. I'll probably lose it before we get there. But you could load these onto a truck and carry several pallets and bring them all at once right to the wherever you want to bring your boards to. The uh, Home Depot will also take pallets of boards as well as the box trucks full of boards as well. So basically if you are making boards you have your two alternatives now and using the extra plants will also you because at the uh, original cogent plant you can shut turn off certain parts of it you might want to save all your wood chips just to make your glue or your paper up there and this way you can shut off the boards up there and just use these two new mills to make boards one of the other notes while we're talking about the cogent place glue production is doubled for those of you who say that glue goes too slow it will produce twice as fast and still take the same amount of product so you're getting twice as much glue per product and it'll instead of getting uh, I believe it was 50 a minute you now get a hundred of a minute but instead of it still takes it used to be 50 wood chips for 50 glue now it's 50 wood chips for a hundred glue every minute so that'll help you guys out quite a bit and bring the glue production up and we have lots and lots of other surprises and tests to do that will be coming along we'll see what makes the cut but it looks like those birch trees will work just fine and we'll be adding those in on the map as you will see in the future coming weeks as we convert to the 2.0 version and give you guys more even more to do here we are at the brewery and there is our box basically as soon as you get over that or even near the box boop, your boards go in so there was 4,000 now we have 14,000 boards and the pallet disappears and it'll create new ones at those factories. You can stack them up, bring them all, tons of pallets as you need them. And that's pretty much the conclusion of this short video on the new sawmills and the wood log triggers that are now in the map. And we'll have more videos as we get more features ready for you. Thanks for watching.